Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back, Calendar with Droid Life, and we're taking another look at Google Play version 4.0. Since it was released today, or at least announced by Google, then released, we got an early look at the APK, we've got it installed, we've also got it available for download for those of you that want to jump on it early at droid-life.com. We'll also throw a link down below. Uh, but we, so we take another look at it since the previous time we looked at it, some things were broken, in particular the uh, the home main page was broken, which you can see is not any longer. So we thought we'd dive through, look at some of the new features, and uh, we'll try to make this one quick. So as you, if you take a look here at main page, it's changed a lot, right, since the uh, Google Play version 3. I've actually got it up here on my Razer HD. So quite different, right? We've got boxes on the left and sort of uh, this really dark theme. And then over here on the right, it's a much lighter theme. And you sort of get this infinite scrolling sort of uh, action where they've created tons of different categories for everything and probably allows Google a lot more flexibility and ability in general just to give you more recommendations and groups of apps and movies and other content they want you to purchase and download. So definitely a different look. I would say it's much cleaner and I actually prefer it over that dark look. I was never a big fan of Google Play 3.0. So uh, if we jump into a category here, let's go into apps. You'll see we've got all the same categories up at the top, you know, like top free and paid and grossing and new paid and whoops, new free and then trending. So no new categories um, necessarily, but you do have different looks in some of these. Like in trending, you'll see you've got the bigger card style look. Um, over here, we've got sort of the My Apps card style look, which you'll remember from our preview. And I'll show you that again in just a second. So definitely a different look. Um, each individual home for each section has its sort of own scrolling area with categories and all that good stuff. So you can constantly find new content to play with and use and all that good stuff. Um, I did want to show you though, when you see bigger cards like this, and this works in every single section, you will see a little menu button or action overflow, I believe we're calling it. And you can tap on that and get more options. So if I tap on that, it'll allow me to add to wish list. I can buy it things like that, and, and it doesn't take you anywhere out of your actual world, wherever you are right now, it doesn't take you out of there. So it allows you to continue browsing or installing without going to separate menus or any of that stuff. So if I find an app like this Marvel app, let's say you can say I don't have it installed, and if you do, you'll see a checkbox. So if I don't have this installed, but I want to install it, I can tap on install, pops up the permissions right there in front of me, I can click accept, and it's installing up there, but you can see it didn't take me anywhere away, it didn't take me to the Marvel page or any of that stuff, so I can continue browsing and having all sorts of fun in the Google Play Store. Uh, you can see bigger cards like this will pop up as well, like in this recommended for you section. You can tap on that, I can say I'm not interested in this, or open it. Um, clearly I already have it installed, so I don't know why I wouldn't be interested in it. Uh, let's actually jump in there too. The recommend, recommended for you section is always good. So you get extra large cards in here and it recommends things based obviously on apps you have installed, but also looks at who your friends are on Google Plus and things like that and recommends them that way. So definitely a section worth checking out if you've never gone in there before. So definitely keep in mind uh, these action overflow menu buttons. They're kind of hard to see and tap at times, but they're definitely there and worth your time if you don't like going into actual app pages. And uh, yeah, so let me go back here. Let's look at some other stuff. Look at a different section. So if we go into, let's say movies, big cards, again, that light layout, it's just red because it's uh, that's what the movie section color is. I will say that if we get up close here at the top, you'll notice that uh, sort of pixelized grid that was up there in the preview build we had is now gone. So it's a much cleaner look back to just straight red and green and orange and all the different colors you're accustomed to with no weird pixelization. Uh, the Play Store icon has changed. It no longer looks like the colorful Play Store icon. It's just sort of a white shopping bag with the play triangle in there. Uh, so that's what movies looks like. We'll show you music. You know, it's funny when we first posted uh, that Google Play was updating, everyone said now if they would only update the Google Music app, and I would agree, the Google Music app is definitely lacking. Uh, same thing in here, you do have those action overflow little buttons so you can buy stuff, add to wish lists, and all that good stuff. So they're making it easier for you to shop, putting more stuff in your face, also making it easier for you to install and buy things, which is always welcome. Uh, let's go ahead and jump into settings real quick. Settings, build version 4.0.25, the previous one we have is 4.0.16, so they've updated it since then and also definitely changed some things. Uh, let's go ahead and go into my apps. So here again, we have that card style layout. 
which is basically like, you know, what we've seen in Google now and things like that. Google's definitely going towards this sort of card lookout or layout. And you've got bigger images everywhere. So even in my apps, you got it just like on the front page. I did want to point out though, that if you're in here in an app and you'll notice, well, before I tap on that, you'll notice the auto update button is now gone. It used to be right here above rate and review. It's no longer there. And they've moved it into the action overflow in app pages. You'll see it right here, auto update. So you can check that box if you want to update, auto update apps. Go ahead and check that in there. Um, if we get out of individual app pages, like say here, there's no auto update option. So you have to do that from within app pages. Go in here, there it is again. Also, if you're just in settings in general, there's the auto update apps for all apps if you wanna deal with that in there. But if you wanna do it individually for apps, it's now up here in the menu button. So let's go ahead and install an app just so you can see if it looks different whatsoever. I did this in the preview, but I figured we'd show it to you guys one more time. So let's go with, uh, doo -doo -doo. let's find something free, how about? Oh, how about Zillow? Let's go into Zillow, see app page in general. The layout is pretty much the same as it used to be. It just looks a little bit different. It's just themed differently. You've got bigger cards again with those action overflow menus, you know, ways to contact the developer. All that stuff hasn't changed. Comments, reviews, descriptions, what's new, everything's, but we do have some italicized text in there. Otherwise, everything does look the same. It's in the same place. It's just been skinned to look different. Okay, so if we want to install an app, as always, click install. Pops up your permissions, you can hit accept, and then installs, and installs there. Now, in previous builds, before we got to 4.0, Google did this thing where you would install an app, and once you clicked install, it would take you to a separate page that was the worst idea ever. You had to back out of that page to get anywhere and do anything. It would take you to a new page that said, hey, these are some other apps, but you couldn't scroll in there. There was no option to really back out or do anything. You had to hit the back button to get out of there. It's completely worthless. So that's gone. You can just install, and this is what you get. With this is what you get once you install an app. Uh, uninstalling works just like you used to. Do you want to uninstall? Okay, should uninstall, and there we go. So this has been just another quick preview of Google Play version 4.0. Again, completely new look. Looks so much different than Google Play 3.0, but I would say in a better way. So if you wanna download it, if you haven't received the update yet, we've got it at droid-life.com, link down below. And again, yep, we're Droid Life. Peace.